Hi guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make strapazzada, which is really scrambled eggs with, with the tomato and pepper sauce. I taught you how to make this tomato and pepper sauce in an earlier episode, and I'll put the link in the description box down below just in case you haven't already watched that video and you don't already have a batch of this stored in your refrigerator. If you've never had it, it's super delicious. It's just tomatoes and um, jarred roasted red peppers that are stewed in some onions and garlic and then some really luscious herbs mixed in. It's aromatic, it's flavorful, it's simple to make and can be used to make so many different recipes. This being one of them, it's basically scrambled eggs, like I said, in the sauce. Comes together in absolutely no time. You could have it for breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, whenever you're hungry. It's satisfying, it's delicious, and you just need a few ingredients. So of course you're going to need this sauce. Now this is we're not going to use all of this, we're going to use maybe a quarter of it because I'm just going to use two eggs to make the scrambled eggs with it. You need a non-stick little frying pan, some feta cheese, and salt and pepper. That's all you need for this. We're going to head over to the stovetop so that we can put it all together and it'll be done in no time. So you want to turn the heat on um, over about medium high underneath your pan and I'm going to put about two big spoonfuls of this sauce in here. You can put as much or as little as you like. We're going to get this going until it's really nice and hot. In the meantime, I'm just going to scramble these eggs just a little bit and I'm going to season them very lightly with some salt. Just a little bit because there's going to be feta cheese in there and the sauce is already perfectly seasoned. But I am going to put some black pepper in it. So it's really, it's starting to heat up. We're going to put our eggs in here and we're just going to give them a nice mix. I'm going to lower the heat and then I'm also going to cut, uh, not cut, I'm also going to crumble my feta cheese in here. You could put as little or as much, however much you want. And we're just going to keep mixing it until the eggs have begun to firm up a bit and I'll switch over to my wooden spoon. You don't want to overcook this, you want to cook it until the eggs are fully cooked, but still a little bit, um, there still, should still be moisture in it. So once it begins to thicken and come together, it's ready. Here we go, this is done. The eggs will continue to cook because this is all nice and hot. I'm going to toast a whole wheat pita bread and then we're going to put this all together. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, it's creamy, it's flavorful, it's delicious, it's a meal that's ready in minutes. I've toasted a piece of whole wheat pita bread. I'm going to make myself a sandwich because it's lunchtime around here and I am hungry. If you wanted to, you could also put some spinach leaves in it and just let them wilt in there from the heat of, um, the, from the, heat of the scrambled eggs and the sauce. Very simple, very delicious, ready in no time. Have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner. You know what, you could even serve these like crostini style, just toast up some Italian bread, slice it up and brush some olive oil and um, butter or something like that on it and just set this on, uh, scoop up some of the scrambled egg mixture on top of each bread and you're going to have an elegant fancy brunch ready in no time. Like I said, the recipe as always in the description box down below takes you to the website www.demetrasdishes.com. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.